Decided to start this vlog in the bathroom. Boy, do I have some content for you today. Let's get started. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're inside my new car right now. Oh my God. This is very exciting. Welcome to today's video, everyone. It is 9.50 a.m. That is freaking early for me. Can you tell? I feel like I look like Mrs. Frizzle right now from the that one ah, from the school bus kids. Yes, <laughs> I do. Today is May 21st, 9.50 in the morning, and I bought a car. I bought a car about 10 days ago, and today is the video where I share with you my beautiful car. I'm gonna give you a car tour, just like in the title. But first, I do have a few appointments to go to, and I thought it would be really fun to take you along with me today. Do a few beauty transformations, taking me from a negative two to maybe a five. <laughs> The first appointment that I have is my eyelash appointment. I look like a naked mole rat right now, so I cannot wait to get those filled. And then after that, I have my hair appointment. I won't tell you what I'm doing yet, but it's for Chicago, and I'm very, very excited for that too. Then after those appointments, we'll do the grand reveal of my new car. I have some really cool features to show you, and I'm just really grateful that everything has happened, and I just wanted to make a video for myself to remember this by as a milestone. But welcome to today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and stay tuned. And we'll see what this transformation looks like. Wabam. I'm back and I'm lashed. Oh my God, I feel like a different person right now. Honestly, if you want a mini story time, which nobody cares about, it took me five weeks to get a lash refill because the girl that I go to was really, really booked and then she went on vacation and I wasn't really planning ahead. So I had to wait a long time to get my lashes, but they look so good. I feel so much more myself and so much more confident now that my lashes are back. It only took two hours. Now that it is noon, I have a 12.30 hair appointment. So let's go fix this. I also have to stop for gas. It's a busy day. I just arrived to my hair salon, so real quick, just for my own memory, here's a quick before of my hair. And an after, holy shit! I love this so much. Honestly, we weren't sure how much lighter we could get my hair because if you have dark hair like me, you might understand that it can be super difficult to really get that color to stick and to have it lighten, but this is really light for how dark my hair was before. We did kind of like a foliage, basically a full foil, but also a balayage. And so in the back, there is some of that balayage blending. Oh my God, I love it. I love my summer hair so much. Wow, who is she? I don't even recognize myself. Okay, so lashes are done. My hair is did. Let's go home and I can show you my car. I just made it to my apartment parking lot and I before I get into the car tour, which by the way, I don't even know if anybody will care about this. I just thought it would be kind of fun for me to make and something that I want to look back on because this is a really exciting milestone in my life. I purchased this car that I'm driving about a week and a half ago and it was the second car that I bought in my adult life, which is crazy to me because I'm only 23. I was really, really excited about this purchase and a little backstory. I'm making this video more for myself than for anybody else to look back on and to feel grateful for and like remember where you came from type of thing. When I purchased my first car as an adult at 19, it was a Volkswagen Jetta. It was used. It was honestly not the best car. And I remember not being excited about it. I remember crying, just feeling like I had to purchase it because I needed a car. It was cheap. It would do the job, but I really didn't want to buy it. And I know that sounds so bratty. I just wasn't as excited. But with this purchase, I am just over the moon with excitement. I am so thrilled to own this vehicle. I look forward to driving now all the time. Time, whereas in my other car, my other car like died on me. I don't know if I ever explained that. My old car has needed a new transmission for like years and I was basically just driving it into the grave. And so about two weeks ago, it finally just gave out. It finally died. We all saw it coming. I'm actually surprised that it's lasted this long. And so I knew that as soon as it died and I was no longer able to drive that car anymore, I would need a quick turnover. So literally the next day, my dad and I started looking at dealerships to try to find a decent priced vehicle that had four wheel drive and everything that I was looking for. We spent all morning that Friday looking at vehicles. Nothing really seemed to fit. Like I wasn't really that excited about any of the cars. I was just trying to find something. And then as soon as I sat into this car, we hadn't even taken it out of the lot yet. I was so thrilled. I was like, this is it. I want to buy it. Let's apply. And my dad was like, well, let's drive it first. But honestly, this is a dream come true. I am so grateful, so thankful. And I just want to make this video for me to look back on, to remember that, you know, in 2019 at 23 years old, I bought this car 
car that I'm in and hopefully it lasts a long time. This is going to sound crazy, but like when I was looking at this vehicle and I was checking out the back seats and I went to like see what the interior looked like, in my head I could see like car seats back there. Like I pictured my future children in this vehicle, so I'm like this this is it. This is the car for me. So I'm making this video for myself to just look back on and remember. Plus, I do enjoy car tour videos. Like when people make those videos of like car tour and it's kind of satire or sarcastic, I think it's really fun to watch. It is starting to rain. So before it downpours, let me show you what the outside of this car looks like. I'm just showing you the side view so you don't get my license plate, but I got a 2010 blue Chevy Equinox. I love it so much. And not only that, but check this out. Ready? Oh yeah. That's right, this baby starts itself. I've never had a remote start before, so this is wild to me. The cool thing about this car is it has a screen. I've never had a screen. I know, I'm about eight years behind the rest of society. I've always driven like older used cars, and I know this is also a nine-year-old used car, but to me, this is like a new car, and I'm so thrilled. This is what the wheel looks like. I've never had a wheel with all these little buttons. I've always wanted one with the volume right here, so now when I drive, I can just turn up the volume and change the stations, and I can make phone calls. I already talked to my mom on this. I have a cruise control right here. Look at this dashboard. This is my favorite thing. I have it set to speed. I feel like I need to just keep an eye on how fast or slow I am driving. But over here we have this little menu and if I hit those buttons, vehicle information so I can see how much oil life I have left which is crazy I've never taken care of my oil but that's going to change with this car all the tire pressures which is so cool we have the set unit it shows you all of that and then it has my trip so speed a timer average speed fuel economy how much average fuel fuel range how much many miles I took on certain trips let me bring it navigation there next over here again I don't know if this is geeky and nerdy and if nobody else cares but this is so cool to me I have all these little knobs let me turn it on it's gonna be loud hang on yes I love country music I have it set right now to the map and the radio I have all my favorite stations down below but it's also a touch screen can you believe it oh my god just realized I can't show you the map because it's literally where I live but I do have navigation I'll show you like this so it has the map over there and then the radio I have an aux cord Bluetooth I can make phone calls I have heated seats right here which is a must when I was looking at cars the only two requirements that I had for a new vehicle when my dad asked what type of car do you want all I said was it needs to have heated seats which this one does and a sunroof which hello this one has as well it's raining so this is a bad idea but we can open it like that honestly those two things are all that I really cared about and then also the one thing that my dad really wanted me to get in this car was four-wheel drive because I live in Minnesota tons of snow in the winter and my Volkswagen Jetta I couldn't drive it I actually had to tow that car a few times because it got stuck in snow this baby is gonna get me everywhere I need to go next winter I also really love how it's light blue okay I also love how this car has red and light blue lights oh my gosh ignore the crumbs oh how embarrassing it's a brand new car oh my god I didn't even show you the coolest part again I know I'm like eight years behind the rest of society but if I put it into the reverse I have a flipping camera I've never had that before so it's safe yeah that was like the craziest thing to me I cannot believe it I have a back I have a camera like this car has everything that I wanted slash needed and more not only that but we've got this really really deep glove compartment does anybody care about that i also have these buttons up here which are pretty outdated because i'll probably never use onstar or have to call for medical help or any of that because now we have cell phones but that's cool we got buttons up here we got this thing hey oh and it has a cd player because it was made in 2010 i keep all of my old cds in here because my old car had a cd player too so i have that i have all the storage space up here two cup holders i also have a cup holder down there as well and over there and then i have a little storage space right here i got my lashes done today so she gave me a little eyelash spoolie and then my hand sanitizer this thing is huge up here is where i was keeping the vlog camera and then this is so deep i don't even know if you can tell but that is major storage next we have the back look at how pretty this looks it's so clean i love it i love it so much the last thing that i want to show you is the trunk this is so not exciting to anyone else i'm pretty sure this isn't exciting to you but i'm pumped by it let's go to the back of my car let's go again i'm like eight years behind the rest of society but <gasps> It 
opens with a button. Oh yeah, here's the back of my car. Quick little tour. I keep my rollerblades, some old textbooks that I need to sell and make maybe 20 bucks on Amazon for. A blanket for picnicking. These have my figure skates in them in case I ever wanna go figure skating. Tennis racket and my beach bag. Oh, and my softball and glove. Very active. My trunk makes me look like a much more active person than I am. Anyway, this is the last cool thing. I have a little button. I don't wanna show you my license plate. So yeah, that is my new car. I am very excited about it. I like cannot believe I made a car tour. Again, I know that it's not that crazy cool. Nowadays, I'm sure basically 90% of all the cars that my subscribers drive have all those features. But to me, this is super exciting because I worked my butt off. I bought this car. Well, you know, I'm paying off the loans, but like I bought this car and I've never had a vehicle as nice as this one before. So to me, this is a really, really big milestone in my life and I'm just really excited about it. And I just remember the day that I bought this car like showing my mom all the features that it has and she and I just sat in my new car in her driveway just like all giddy about it and then she called me and I picked it up on my car because my car has like the phone thing so I can make phone calls and answer it while driving I don't know just like it's exciting like this is a really big moment for me and I'm not trying to brag by making this video like I said I really wanted to make this for myself to look back on because this is a big moment and I'm very grateful and thankful and fortunate enough to be able to do this like looking back on all of the things that I've gone through these last this year alone and just like graduating college and like working hard and living on my own in an apartment like I'm really proud of myself and purchasing this car is something that I'm super proud of as well so I wanted to make this video to look back on to remember this is my baby also she needs a name and this is gonna sound weird but as soon as I stepped into this car the name Sheila came to mind um, let me know if you think that fits otherwise comment down below some name suggestions for my blue Chevy Equinox because this baby needs a name and I am so excited to drive now before I was always nervous to drive because my car was wasn't really reliable. I didn't feel safe in it. I feel so safe in this vehicle. I'm sitting up higher than before. It's a pretty high truck, so I'm sitting up pretty high. It has a ton of cool safety features. I feel safe in it. It's a reliable vehicle. Now I love driving. It's never an issue if I have to drive far and at work and stuff. I'm always like, do you need a ride? Because I want to drive my car. Now it's really raining outside and I have to babysit in about 45 minutes. Oh, I should leave in like half an hour. So I am going to eat something because it's been a very long day of <laughs> getting pampered. And now it's time to go make back some of that moolah. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you didn't mind that it was primarily just all in my car. I wanted to really show you my new car and give you a little car tour as well as take you along on this pamper day with me as I got my hair and my lashes done. All in preparation for Chicago, which is coming up this weekend. I am so excited. Stay tuned for those videos. I've got all my Chicago travel vlogs and stuff like that coming up shortly. So definitely make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you very soon with my next video. Bye! I thought this was so cute. I sent my boyfriend a picture of my new hair and lashes. I said blonde and lashed. Bam. And he sent back these jibs and they're so funny. He is so sweet. I just had to share. I thought that was hilarious. Like what a great response. So cute. Thanks babe.